Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our stack series and in this video we are going to learn about implementation of uh, stack using our array all right so before starting let me give you a brief like what we did in our uh, previous video so basically we learned about stack all right so yeah yeah so this is a stack it basically follows the uh, leaf order right right so what is a leaf order uh, leaf order is uh, basically last and first out that means uh, you can uh, see stack as a container um, with the bottom close so we put elements like first element second element third element uh, and if we have to take out an element from here obviously we're going to take the third element out first right so that means the last in which was third is taken out first first out all right so uh, this was all uh, you need to know of a stack all right now uh, the thing is how to implement a stack using array right so that's uh, what we have to study so i told you the basic functions of a stack are push pop is empty size and top so push basically pushes the element in our stack like first element second element third element pop basically pops the element that means popping the uh, top element is empty tells whether the stack is empty or not size tells the size of the stack and top basically gives you the top of the element uh, top of our stack all right now, uh, without any delay, let's try and implement this code. Okay. So here we have our stack program. Let's include the header file. Now let's write a uh, stack function. So to create a stack, let me write struct my stack. All right. So this is basically going to be a structure. Here uh, we are writing a vector, which will implement our stack. You know, vector and arrays are same, and that's what we use in that's what we use uh, in our vector all right so we have like written vector in uh, v now let's write our first function which is going to be push we are suppose we have to push x in our stack so simply i'm going to write All right, that is all. Now, if I have to write uh, int pop, all right? So int pop will basically return the uh, top element which you are taking out. All right. So int pop is going to be int res is equal to v dot back. All right. V dot pop back. And simply return a res. All right. Now suppose if I have to uh, write int top, it is going to be return v dot uh, back. Right. Now if I have to write about the uh, size one. Suppose I write int size, what I'm going to do, I'm simply returning v dot size. All right. And now if I have to write about int uh, going to be bool empty. So basically, I'm going to 
to uh, write return v dot empty all right so i already have discussed about the vector of functions like push back pop back v back size and empty so i am guessing you as this entity know it so see uh, if we like void push and write an element it will simply push the element inside a stack uh, using our vector similarly pop similarly top similarly size and similarly pool empty now let's implement this thing Let's write in main. Let's make our my stack variable s. We're going to call it s. So for now, let's push five. Let's push ten. And let's push twenty eight. All right. now i'm going to have c out s dot pop let's write in del as well here now i'm going to write c out s dot size and now i'm going to write c out s dot top and then we can write c out s dot empty as well and in the end is our return zip all right let's try and run this code let's hope this works okay so these are the outputs now let's have a dry run if the outputs are correct or not so uh, let's do one thing let's um this this part okay and here let's make a new all right so uh, initially we are pushing 5 10 and 20 so our first element in our stack is 5 right and our top element is 10 and then the next element is 20 so uh here what i did was i called uh, s dot pop right so what that will do it will it is this element 20 which will will take out the top element and we will get the uh, output as 20 next you can have size so we can see the size as 2 so size is going to be 2 next it is s dot top which means it will uh, give you the top element correctly so it is 10 next is c out s dot empty that means it will return a boolean value 0 or 1 So since uh, we don't have an empty empty stack, so it will return zero, right? So this must be the output you should be getting. And let's check the output. It is twenty two ten zero, twenty two ten zero. All right. So I guess this was all you have to like study about implementation of a stack using a C plus plus. All right. And you should know about the normal cases which is pop top push right so i guess that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to learn about implementation of a stack uh, using a linked list all right so thank you for watching this video and see you later